In this blended tutorial I will show you how to crop, rotate, shape and scale a video clip that has been recorded direct from a projector or TV screen at an angle so that the final result brings the view squarely in line and fits the aspect ratio you require. Rather than using the video editor we're actually going to be using the Blender default screen. So start by removing the cube, just press X and left click on delete. Move the lamp as well, this is a black dot with a few circles around it, so right click on this, then again X and left click on delete. To the top of the screen where it says Blender Render, left click, then left click Cycles Render. This won't work in Blender Render. And we want to position the camera so it's pointing directly down. And the easiest way to do this is press 7 on your numbers pad to go into top view. Then hit your space bar and type the word align. A-L-I-G-N. Then left click, view 3D, align camera to view. I'm going to just drag this panel out a bit. Just go over a few things. The default setting for Blender is 16.9 on video clips. Now you'll need to um, decide what um, aspect ratio you're going to work in. So if it's an old TV um, footage or um, home movies, whatever, they may be at 4.3. So there is a box here, Dimensions, Blender set, um, Presets. You can left click on this and change it to TV PAL. Uh, 4 3 or manually change the XY uh, pixels. Um, if you've got a square video, you may have to do it, uh, line it up by sight and actually, you know, lose some of it um, top and bottom if you're going to refilm it in widescreen. Anyway, that's basically that. The only other thing we'll over here, let's just because you're cropping this, you, you want to get as good a quality as you can out of, the, out of your video. So in the box it says 50% underneath resolution. Just left click, click and drag you over to uh, the right so it's 100%. OK. Hold down Shift followed by A. And next to Mesh, you may have to go to this pointer up here. Look to see if you've got something that says images as planes. If you haven't, go to the top left of the screen, left click on file, left click user preferences with the add ons box selected. Just left click on this if it's not. In the search box, type the word image. And then place a tick in the little box by left clicking on it next to import export import images is planes once you've done that left click save user settings and then close this panel down now press shift followed by a again and then left click on images as planes the first thing you want to do is make sure you select the shadeless button so left click on this and then it's a case of Literally, if you're anything like me, going through shed loads of videos till you find the one that you've got. Um, mine's in here, I think. Uh, to the left of normal, left click on the little box with uh, four thumbnails in it. This will give you a uh, thumbnail view. Okay, here's the video clip. So left click on the video clip you're going to use and then left click import images as planes. Okay. To the right of the box that says object mode, there's a white disk. Left click on this and then left click on texture. You should be able to see your video. Now I'm going to rescale this by pressing S and then moving my mouse. And as you can see, this is a video I recently did just for this um, tutorial and it's an extreme angle so I want to uh, 
change the angle and shape of this video clip a bit. There's lots of ways you can do this. So let's just start by rotating it a bit. So we'll, we'll rotate this on its Z axis. And to do that, just press R, Z, and then move your mouse. So let's square up the bottom a bit. I don't know, that looks good. Um, and I'll press S again and resize this. So what's that looking like? The only one problem you'll find is you is the sort of view of the screen disappears a bit. So I don't know, we'll take it there. Left click to accept and re rotate it again on R Z. So what's that looking like? Not too bad. I'll left click and hold it there for now. If you struggle to see the view that you're working with, to the top right you can left click on the camera and that will sort of display what you're looking at. And yeah, I need to move uh, the image down a bit. So I'm going to left click on the image again and I'll move it down so that's good enough I'll rotate on the Z axis again by pressing R Z I think that's not too bad let's have a look yep not too bad okay so if you right click on your your actual uh, video which is now twisted you can go into edit mode and the easiest way to do this is just press tab on your keyboard press A to deselect everything and obviously depending on your video decide how you're going to reshape it so I'm going to right click in the top left hand corner and then I'm going to press G Y and drag this down And then I'll press G X and move it over. And let's have a look. It's not looking too bad. I'll go back into the camera view again. Yeah, it's not looking bad. Okay, back to the image. I'll go back into edit mode again by pressing tab and right click in this corner. And Let's press G and just move this manually. Okay. Yep. And all I'm going to do now is hold down Shift and right click in this corner. So I've got both these corners selected. And I'll move this out. And select this one. As you can see, as a matter of just gradually moving your view or the shape of your video till it fits the screen, and I don't think that looks too bad. Let's go into camera again. Yes, it's not looking too bad. Unfortunately, when you go into camera, you go back to object mode. So if you want to go back into your clip, just right click on the video again and press tab. So let's have a look. I think I'll hold down shift and just select both of these corners. I'll move this over a bit. Let's have a look at the camera view. It's not looking too bad. There's a little bit here but yeah, you get the, roughly the idea of how to do this. Um, so you're set up now to uh, render this video. So first of all, left at right hand side of the screen, you'll need to set the video up so that it's actually filming at the frame rate that the original was filmed at. So if it's 24 frames per second happy days if not left click and then left click the frame rate that this your video was filmed at mine's 50 frames per second 
and then output left click on the folder go to where you want to save your video and then give it a title I don't know I'll call it TR1 don't don't ask me why and then left click accept you might have to do this twice um, decide what format you're going to save this in by left clicking on PNG and hopefully you've got FFmpeg installed because um, newer versions of Blender require this so left click FFmpeg then open up the encoding box and now you can change your settings I'm going to just go into presets and then left click H264 in MP4 and the other thing because you've rescaled and resized your video you want to make sure that you've got as good a quality as you can possibly have so where it says output required I better move this over oh sorry output quality left click on medium quality and left click high quality and you're good to go if you want to sort of um, cut this or you know clip this edit uh, video you'll need to first of all work out how many frames you've got or put in something ridiculous like 20,000 it won't make much difference and then hit return and then left click in the little box the little sort of um, checkerboard circle that you should have up if you've got your texture view on and then left click on rendered now you can slide this slider over it won't play probably but you can slide it over and decide where you want to start so let's say we're going to start here and it says in this box next to where I've typed 20,000 it says 60 so if you go into the start um, frame which says start one you can left click and type in 60 or whatever you decide to render up to and then again slide this over and I don't know wherever you want to finish let's say you want to finish it but no, that's too far say 200 where I typed in 20,000 just left click and type in 200 and that's about all there is to it okay this could be reshaped a little bit better maybe but it gives you roughly the idea how to do it this trouble with doing these tutorials they drag on them they look like they're really complicated and difficult so that's all there is to it really you're good to go all you do now is left click animation and then go on holiday for a week because this will take ages um, footnote on this if you've filmed a full movie um, hoping to put it online or something this will well, take days so I'm not going to bother waiting for this to render um, I'll just stop it up here this bar will tell you when you're finished hopefully though you should have something that looks more like this thank you for watching cheers